Hey, hey, Glenn. Yes. Okay, what? We got a champ over here. Oh, yeah. A real, a, ch- a, a champion. real champion. They give, in me, our midst. they give me a medal and everything. Do you, you, you have a, a trophy? You have a big trophy that you're going to keep in your home? The trophy stays with the club, um, but they put a medal on me, and I could, and I, at the moment... Now, is this I, like, like you know, um, like uh, when I got, uh, you know, best attendance in baseball uh, in it sure grade? isn't, pal. This is top of the league. Yeah, right. But I, I guess what I mean is, like, do the, do, is this a medal, is this a tradition uh, for owners of teams in the league that you're in to get a medal if you are at the top of the league or did they make a medal for you and Ryan because you're you and Ryan. Fair you know, question. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I like, asked that. Like we, are very, we are very aware of that. <laughs> we are very aware of that. And, uh, <laughs> and I, do, yes, everybody gets a medal, but I was both excited in the moment when they put it on, I, it, we were just elated, but it is a little bit embarrassing to be wearing a medal right. for something you really didn't do. Well, no, 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 hang on a second. Now, now, if you're the trainer and you've taped people's ankles up all year long uh, for the you know Boston Red Sox, Sox win the World Series, you get a World Series Absolutely. ring, you deserve that you're sucker. Part of the you're part of you taped somebody's ankles? Yeah, you're part of a team. It's you're a team effort, okay? One it thing, is a team effort. But one thing now, if, that you, was... if you fucked up someone's ankle taping and they fucking sprained their ankle like uh, trying what to if you still score won? in the final game and you don't win because it's your what fault. What if you still won and homeboy sprains his ankle? And you still get a medal. You're like, because it's not just about that it's one a team. Event. It's, a, it's, it's a team. A, it's an organization. What kind and of qualifications do you need? And that's why Oscars are better than, um, you know, sports awards because they're subjective, arbitrary, <laughs> individual, <laughs> and individual. <laughs> so not only are you getting awarded for your imaginary achievements, uh, you know, you're getting to take all the credit. <laughs> yeah, well, as an group, actor, yeah. for what, a group effort. One thing yeah. that we were that I'm very right. cognizant of. I, I I'm. Uh, I always find it creepy when they award the, say, the Super Bowl trophy or the NBA Finals trophy or uh, or the World Series. They give it to the to the owners, yeah, and yeah, it always yeah. creeped me out. Yeah, it's like, always a so bad look. Ryan and I were nowhere near. Even when the guys were celebrating with yeah. the champagne and everything, we were like, "This is their moment. Like, they should have it. They're the ones that earned it." Yeah, and then yeah. eventually, you come in for the now. Are you, are you on there, camera pal. saying Class that? Act, pal. Because because that that's a good look. You know what I mean? I mean like, uh, well, no, it you it was shot that way. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe, maybe I, I can, I can, I can say that at the, on the documentary. But I don't think it needs to be said. Well, now that you're you've won the league, yes, right, uh, and you're going to be promoted, yes. Um, what's going on with that sty? Uh, I it's see that there. it's it's gone. It 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 was down here when it's we were on the up. tour. Now, that's such an interesting thing to me. Yeah. It's it's oh, the little guy migrates. The little the, the white blood cells and all the guys that are fighting the infection, they were they were down here, even though they were always supposed to be up here. The, the guys that were trying to get them. Yeah. So so basically what's happening is that the good guys are mm-hmm. finally getting to where they were supposed to be all along yes. to fight the bad guys. Yeah, and uh, man, I just can't get rid of it. Now, I would think that the, the stress, I don't feel st- any more anxiety or stress. So, that, so now it's just a big ball of, of pus and, uh, mm-hmm. and blood. That's you know what's cool? Under my eye. You could start like having eye patches. I thought of it. I you know, like that. you could yeah. like wear an eye patch. It'd be pretty sweet. It'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. You could get like a Rexham eye patch for when you're over there. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, or just whenever you're <laughs> With on a camera. Little badge yeah, on it. Yeah. Promote the team. Um, yeah, yeah. That's not, that's not a bad idea. But you could liken this battle that's going on inside there. There could be a, a, a Rexham level you know, tier five soccer level battle happening inside your eye. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Think about that. All those little guys battling it out. And then at the end, somebody might get a medal. What are the feelings? What are the emotions? Because, you know, obviously we've had a lot of luck and success in our careers and gotten to do some big, exciting things. And we've gotten that one-on-one relationship with the fans when we tour around, which is pretty amazing. Um, Describe the feeling of winning the league, of trying to do it, and like, and how does it compare to other other feelings that you've had? Yes, thank you. Uh, Fair question. Um, You guys still have feelings? There is a moment. There is a moment. I don't know, I'm assuming. The the moment that we actually won the game, uh, I don't remember it all. I kind of blacked out. 
I went because you know yeah, it looked like it, you and Ryan almost fell over the balcony yes like simultaneously and I, and I didn't and I didn't <laughs> I didn't know that until I until Paul because Paul Rudd shot that because he was right behind us and he showed us that video and you see both of us at the same time almost like col collapse in unison yeah something you guys left kinda... our bodies uh -huh. um, and I don't remember doing that at all and he, neither does he maybe do... something entered your bodies from the back. <laughs> <laughs> and, just, and just, just consider it. You forward. Just consider it. That's yeah. what I mean. Like, in, as opposed to something pulling out of your body and pushing you forward, there could have been something that entered you. I think it was. Um, I think it was years of. I think it was a catharsis because that was our stated goal, and um, mm -hmm. it was something that was. And we talk about this all the time. Um, in all sincerity, if if Ryan and I were to walk away from this, we would be fine. Um, because of uh, so many different reasons, notwithstanding the reason that we're sitting here right now. But there is a whole town um, that we promised two and a half years ago to do our best to give them uh, this moment. And and we didn't know how long it would take, a year, two years, five years, 10 years. Um, we didn't know. And we didn't know if it, if it would ever happen because that's kind of the beauty of sport is that at the end of the day, you can put all the pieces together, but if it doesn't happen out on the pitch, it's not going to happen. So... Uh, for for that moment to happen, uh, I think for us was a tremendous relief because we feel like we've delivered on our promises. Right. Yeah, that makes Exciting. sense. And, and you see how the town reacted. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's it's a sweet, sweet thing. Yeah, yeah. And, I'm, I, and I'm going back. I'm going back on Tuesday for 24 hours. Are you for what? Uh, they're having a big civic event. Oh my a, god! A Why you gotta fly all the way the over town. there for just for 24 hours. Oof. It's worth it, but it's uh, it's tough. It'll be my eighth trip this year mm -hmm. so it's hard to get to it's very yeah well hard to get to from here maybe not hard to get to from liverpool but uh it's definitely not hard to get to from 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 liverpool now are you flying into liverpool will you be flying into liverpool yeah it's it, it's it's always tricky but um hopefully uh we have a couple of uh, new sponsors coming up this this year and um four walls whiskey four walls whiskey but they're not going to help get me from los angeles to well no we get a non-stop. Liverpool Express. We Four Walls whiskey paying can we, all the bills. Can we stop down to talk about the name Liverpool for a second? Is it a pool full of livers? Is it? I think is it's it a, like something pooling up in your liver. That's what I think it is. It's yeah. It's alcohol. It's alcohol, and it's yeah. pooled up in your liver. Yeah, and okay, it's a I town. Got a, I got a question for you. What? The, the, if you're from Liverpool, mm -hmm. you are called a Liverpudlian. Or so a Liverpudlian, which is the strangest. Thing. <laughs> Crazy Liverpudlian. <laughs> yeah. So the pool you know turned into a puddle. Yeah, <laughs> a liver somehow, yeah. somehow the pool got smaller. A the pool turned into a puddle. I guess. Why? Why would you be? Yeah. A, why yeah. wouldn't you be a Liverpoolian? A Liverpondian, um, which sounds sort of alien. Yeah. But Liverpudlian doesn't sound that much less alien. So yes. yeah, it's a good. So point. you're either a Liverpudlian or something else. Oh, so you can be called something. Okay, I've only yes. ever. Let me think. Now, and this is sort of a. It, it's an. It's a, a liver pipe. I don't know where this came from. We'll have to look it up. But Paul Mullen, our our star striker, is Liverpudlian, but he mm -hmm. does not call himself a sure. Liverpudlian. He would call himself a proper. Okay, hold on, wait, don't don't say it. I, can, footballer. I, I he's definitely a proper footballer. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, Good God, wow, big his performance in that last game. I mean, his performance the whole season, just incredible. Um, and such a lovely, lovely, lovely guy. Sweet I had, I had the, guy. the opportunity to to talk to him for a solid ten minutes after the game that the match that we went to, and. I was just struck at how completely and totally down to earth he was. I mean, there was nothing, there's no pretense there, obviously, but just so such humility. And all he wanted to talk about was his family. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know, just such mm -hmm. a lovely guy. They're all, like talk to guy. They're all like that. I mean, to the liver Pudlian way. Yes. yes. Or the uh, proper, okay. li it yeah, I, I, I just scouser. Oh, what? that I would never have yeah. guessed. Say like what? Scouser. You're scouse. If yeah. you're, if you're like, uh, they say scouse. I'm well, SP why? With a scouse, a scouser accent. That also so. sounds like something that some, my pool guy would do, right? Liver pool, uh -huh. liver puddle, like a, that a scouser would come in and get the bottom of the pool. the pool. You got to scouse the pool every yeah, so often yeah, to yeah. get the yeah. algae scouse off. Scouse all the yeah. liver pipes that are <laughs> on the top of the pool, just yeah, swimming the liver around. Yeah. Yeah, before it puddles up. <laughs> a scouser. A scouser. But yeah. these are all related things because if you ask me uh, about how I feel and I, th I think about Paul and I think about the town, I think about that experience. It is surreal. You're you're standing up in that box and they're singing songs to you yeah, about you. With your that name. was very surreal to me also being there. I'm like, 
you know, this is my buddy that I've known for 20 years, 20 plus, no, more than 12, oh my God, like 22 okay. years, you know, who had to borrow money from me at one point in order to stay afloat. Yeah. And now there's a stadium full of people like cheering his name. Super weird. I felt Super relieved, weird. like finally, like you're going to be okay, and we can move on with our lives. <laughs> you, don't have you know to loan what I mean? Like, anymore. yeah. Like, we, well, although if you this can let thing, us free, you know, <laughs> like, he seems he, he might be leveraging himself he can to let a point. Us go, man. I don't know. No way. He might be. Yeah. No, he's I never. Know gonna, he's that, yeah, I know where my bread's buttered. I know where my bread's buttered. I'll keep it. <laughs> no, I got <laughs> I you guys for life. Super trapped. I yeah, got it's okay. Hey, there's no one I'd rather be trapped with, pal. Thank you. I feel the same way. Well, but but truly, so you you see how what a surreal experience that is, and then amplify that by a factor of 10 going through th through that through the, win the winning of the league and then just the surrealness of how large it seemed like i was with ryan and elton john called to talk to, like to congratulate us. what <laughs> bizarre like th we were hearing from people i i mean you know the, the 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 prime minister of the uk gave us a shout out today in parliament um we heard from the king i mean it's it's yeah, bizarre and, and it's People are into the story. into sports, man. A lot of pride, I think, rippling throughout the entire country, right? Yes. Possibly clearing up the divide, any divides, any division that's happening within the entire country itself. Possibly, possibly, <laughs> possibly. possibly. between the north Saving and the, the south. Nation. Uh, um, any? Why was Paul Rudd there? Well, felt that's incongruous. Yeah. Felt incongruous. What's so great? This right, is what's right, so right. great. Is well, he's an ant. He can make himself any size, and and I think move through the quantum realm. <laughs> Did he get stuck in someone's pocket? I and think I think what happened was he actually traveled through the quantum realm, as which is a much faster way of traveling. Another lovely guy. Well, Possibly. also I've fantastic, but also Joe Russo was there. So Joe Russo, mm -hmm. who is not as famous as Paul Rudd, but directed two of the biggest movies of all time. I mean, certainly not the number Jaws one movie of all time. And no? Titanic. Right? No, two different guys. Those are two different guys. <laughs> oh. Uh, yes. The, the, the most... Star Wars. The uh, most popular Citizen movie King of all. And Indiana and... Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> yeah. He's swimming in the, he's swimming in the same waters. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he, he sure is. Paul uh, came because uh, he was shooting Ghostbusters in London. He's friends oh, with Ryan. Right, and it right, just right. so happened that he was planning to come to this game. And isn't it just like Paul Rudd's life to just... Of course, to just, show up at that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah groovy, man. One. We won the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that Paul Rudd? Big, yeah, I don't know. Talks? Yeah. Not mind? really. He doesn't, he doesn't have a talk. Right. No. Just, uh, uh, just handsome. So you had Paul Rudd. He had one Russo brother. Yeah. You got a call from Elton no John. Anthony. Yeah. We just got, Joe. It was uh, just Joe. Yeah, just join okay. his family. But yeah. ne nevertheless, I mean, uh, just a, uh, a transcendent experience that's hard to describe. But to put it into some kind of perspective, I stayed out all night long uh, with the players trying to keep up with their alcohol intake. And I, I did pretty well, but um, they're large young men. Yeah. And I got very drunk and had a blast. And then- Did you say anything stupid up, and were you on camera? I was on camera the entire time, which is why I didn't say anything stupid. But you get to shirts came off at one point, and I was like, "This is where the chairman keeps his shirt on." Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I would have think that the chairman could have taken his shirt off. At that I would have felt. Let me tell you, when those guys get to be your age, they're gonna look like shit, and I'll tell you why. Because they've been doing all this running around and training, and then you know. They're going to have the kids and they're going to be dealing with all that stuff and the, and the life stuff. And they're not going to have the pressure of the camera constantly pointing at them, mm. which you have, which is a good incentive to kind of keep your shit tight. Man. It sure and, is. It's, it really you know, is. It's good you take incentive. Take that camera away. You can just live your life. Yeah. Yeah. But also like you don't like <laughs> if you free. maybe if you did comedy your entire life. Right. And then you retired from comedy. Uh -huh. You're not going to go home to your to your comedy room in your giant house and do more comedy, right? So these guys are working out all the time, yeah. right? So once they retire, they're like, oh God, I imagine, you know, they, they're like, I don't want to work out anymore. I want to stop Plus working out. That's the whole thing. Plus I've been the doing injuries, that. The injuries. You know? <laughs> the injuries. No, they're physical specimens. They look great like forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah some of them. God, some, some of them are so goddamn handsome and charismatic and it just drives me crazy. It tri I don't understand the 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 preponderance of extraordinarily good looking men in in english football yeah it's it's astounding how often i see a person who's as talented as they are who could also straight up be a male model yeah 
And there's numerous examples of that. Yes. Now they weren't all, they're not all like that. Let's be honest. Some of them <laughs> are ghoulish and awful to look at, but they're astounding to watch on the field. You yes. know what I mean? Um, but just the number of them that, that just so happened to also be so incredibly good looking. What is that? I don't know. They're at, the, at a great age, right? They're all 20 years old. Yeah. So that's when you're going to look pretty good. Yeah, but look, I'm, I, and they're, in great shape. they're in great shape. That's a but good I'm, I'm talking bone structure. I'm not just talking hairstyle. I'm not talking, I'm talking like pure genetics, just handsome. Give it time. <laughs> <laughs> Give it time. Okay. You know, remember us in our 20s? Some handsome fellas. <laughs> I don't know. I, I look at some of those old episodes. I'm like, I think we look better now. But that's just In me. some ways, I feel like I, I look better now. Although things are, <sighs> you know, you, you start to see little things here and there. But we don't have to get into that. Anyway, the experience was uh, was was incredible. And, um, I, and I, I wasn't just, looking for this long an answer. It was just, I just like, it was it, it was cool. You know, you could have just said like. Well, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll end it with this. Um <laughs> I'll end it with this because you asked and I'll give you the, I'll give you the honest did, answer. I did. To put it in perspective, when I, I flew home after the big celebration, knowing I was going to come back and, um, and hearing from everybody and having thousands of emails and texts and, hear, and seeing it all over the news and, and then also having just come off this like massive tour where we were in front of tens of thousands of people. And I landed back uh, in LAX and I came home and um, and there was nobody home because the kids had, had gone out and they were at yeah. Garden Palooza. At the I know school. exactly where you're going. And with this I landed guy. at home and um, and I had all this uh, my bags and I had all this laundry and I realized like <laughs> oh I got to do the laundry because I'm not gonna have clothes. So <laughs> so I was al home alone doing yeah. the laundry and I got a text from Caitlin and uh -huh. she said can you feed the dogs? That's the reality. Yeah, see, that's the reality. So that's I'm life. sitting. There, that's life. That's well, and life. I'm sitting there and that's I'm the doing my laundry and I go down and I feed the dogs. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm looking at the time and I'm waiting for my kids to come home and they come home and they're happy to see me because they haven't seen me because we were away for a couple weeks. Yeah, we were away and for then a while. we had dinner and I went to bed mm -hmm. and woke up the next day and took them to school. Mm -hmm. And because that's it. If you, it, it, we keep learning yeah. this lesson, you hear the, you hear the, the, the behind the music story of the rise and fall of people all the time. And that shit is real. If you think that standing up on that stage and hearing 10,000 people screaming for you or being up uh, in that box and waving like the queen and having people sing to you is going to make you happy. You are fucking dead wrong. You're hundred percent. You're hundred percent. Right. If that, if that time where you were home feeding the dogs, doing your laundry <clears throat> and then hanging out with your kids felt like a letdown, mm -hmm. that would be a scary thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Because, because that, those well, are, to be fair, it does feel like a letdown because just by bi like biochemically, you're, you're, all of that serotonin that's like literally like coursing through our bodies mm -hmm. for those three weeks, you you feel that high, that just like depletes. And your brain is like, wait, where is that thing? So I get why people turn to drugs, alcohol, or like the, the constant like adoration is because you want, your brain is going to get that thing back. So if you're not cognizant of it, and we're lucky because we're f f in our late four, <laughs> mid forties, where we can internalize and then rationalize that. But if you if you don't if you can't recognize like oh you feel a little down right now, but it's not because you don't like your life. It's not because you you can't do your own laundry. It's because it's just a biochemical response. And if you can be grateful mm -hmm. for the fact that you get to come home to this family and and you get to to also do those other things, that's where the the problem is. And so when you talk about Paul Mullen, like what a great example of a superstar who can live in the limelight, but really all he wants to do is talk about his family. Yeah, go home and play with the Because that's it. You need the foundation upon which to lay all that other stuff. And then everything else is 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 really fun, but it really is kind of the icing. I can't find it doing the laundry, you know? Okay, to be fair, I'm, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that you need I am, to if be I've got happy. Some, if I've got some good tunes on, yeah. I'm happy to do just about anything around the house, but I okay. need the music. You need the tunes. I, I think the, the, yeah, I, I'm not suggesting that doing some kind of like menial or manual labor should be a joyous experience, mm. but if you find yourself thinking that you're above it or uh -huh. that you don't belong there oh, yeah, and that yeah, where yeah, you yeah. actually you're still gonna belong have to pick is in up front dog shit. You're still going to have diarrhea at one point in your life, and how cool are you then? Although Jill was talking about getting a third dog and she was like, if we get a third oh, dog, I think we should hire one of those so people that comes poop. over and picks up your dog shit. And I was like, can we please not be those people yeah. that oh. hire someone to come? I to have the, two dogs. Although I did spend the like- of dog shit that they generate. Uh, it's astounding. <laughs> it's astounding. I spent 
like 45 minutes the other day cleaning up dog shit. Yeah. And then they call, and then the dogs ran outside and shit like five more times. Yeah. I was like, where, where is that? We don't I even- will like, you know, like if a kid's coming over to play with my son and like, I'll, I'll go in the yeah. backyard, make sure like- You gotta. Like clean as can be. And then uh, 10 minutes later, I'll do another little loop and be like, when did these guys- when did, What? I didn't even Who see you. Who is it? I was out here. When were you? There's it's nothing not more humbling than having to pick up the defecation of another species. Yeah, yeah, yeah of another yeah. species. It's the worst. I'm yeah. going to pick this poop up mm-hmm. and put it in a bag. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to have to wash my fucking hands. You wash your hands afterwards. I do. Oh. Well, because the bags have a scent to them, and you're you just, just feel you just feel dirt, dirty. Now, are too, you guys right? using the biodegradable? Yes, poop yeah, bags? We are, okay, man. good, good, sure, good, good, good. Sure, just sure, want to sure, check sure, on that because sure. they make some really good ones, and I want to yeah. make sure that that's that we're all doing the right yeah, thing yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking hand sewing a fucking mitten and uh, throwing that. No. <laughs> just kidding. Well, well, anyway, well, um, anyways, all good stuff. I guess we should talk about the. Uh, I'm gonna uh, just uh, just as a, a little foreshadowing. I I was alone in the hotel. And I, I hit a certain point where I was like, I'm just so bored and the TV's not working. And I had a link to Glenn's movie. And I know we're going to save it. We're going to watch save it. it. We're going to save it. I'll save it. I'll save it. Save it. Uh-oh. Have you watched it? I'm going to watch it uh, tonight, right? Because okay. we're talking tomorrow. All we're right. talking Friday about it. Get it. Strap in, baby. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I've been, <laughs> I've been like, I, I had to withhold from texting you or calling you right after I saw it. I almost stopped it halfway. To call you, and I was like, oh, "Save it for the pod, save, save it, it for save the it, pod." But I have now I'm seeing you in person, and I got to tell you, <sighs> strap in. I can't, I can't wait. I can't. Well, wait. Uh, oh, I, I, I can't I, wait to talk about it. It seems like what you're saying is that you enjoyed it and you enjoyed my performance, so I appreciate it. That fills me up. You're filling me up right now. Okay, I love it when you fill me up. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, well, just there's nothing ready. better than being filled up by your friends. <laughs> yeah, right. Getting filled up. Yeah. Fill and plug in those holes. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Plug in those God holes. Get ready and fill to get us up. F- filled to the brim. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What are we talking about hey. now? What are we talking about now, talking about dudes. This We're one's for the fellas. This one's dudes. for the fellas. Where are my guy bosses No out girls there? allowed, huh? This is, this is a dudes one. This, this is a dudes one. This is for the dudes. Dudes. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, now that none of the women are listening, gentlemen, level with me. Has the thunder down under gone quiet? Are you going for gasps, but only getting laughs? Oh, oh no. So what you do is you go to bluechew.com and and you consult with the a licensed medical provider that yep. they, that they have and you get approved for a prescription and then bam dude you're getting your boner pills straight to your door. They should just pop a BC on there on the box, right? So that everyone knows. Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't say boner pills. It has to be boner tablets. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. Um Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, boner tablets. Okay, yeah. All you do is you go to bluechew.com, right? You speak with one of their licensed medical providers. You get an approved uh, prescription uh, for Blue Chew, and then bam, you get your boner tablets straight to your door. Now, Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners, okay? Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code SUNNY. Free. Free. Just try it. It's free when you use the promo code SUNNY at checkout. And just pay, all you got to do is pay the $5 shipping. Okay, so that, that's bluechew.com, promo code SUNNY. Uh, and you're going to get your first month free if you visit bluechew.com for more details, important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Thanks, Blue Chew. And, uh, and uh, enjoy your boners, everybody. Yep. So let's talk about It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Let's talk let's about a little bit. Oh, by, by the way, way, Megan's not here. Yeah, Megan is not here. As she I'm went sure. to Amsterdam to do drugs and hang out in the red light district, I'm sure. But oh, so did Mara, sure. but Mara's back at work. Mara's sure. back because uh, she made it out, but Megan needed a few extra days getting high. Yeah, just getting stony baloney and yeah, doing, mushroom, and- doing mushrooms and... Yeah, possibly doing stuff in the red light, light district. Yeah, red yeah. lighting. Yeah, red oh, lighting. It's very Megan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Are you suggesting she's selling it or buying it? Uh, well, I, listen, I'm not suggesting Depends anything. Depends on which drug she's I on. don't assume anything, especially about <clears throat> other people. I don't assume anything, yeah. ever. I make no assumptions. 
It makes an ass out of you and me. Yeah, this, yes, it does. And I, do, I don't even talk about the things that I see, because what if I'm not seeing it right? <laughs> According to other people. That's right. That's right. So I'll stick to my lane here. Let's talk. Now, because Megan's not here, mm-hmm. I got to sort of be the, the, and I know that- this, You're the host. I'm going to be the host a little bit today. Thank you. Please do. Okay. Now, we don't even have to get to any of this because maybe we can just, you know, do what we always do, which is just talk and talk and talk. Yeah. Talk and talk and talk and talk. (laughs) Newsflash. Great episode. Oh, man. Oh, man. I because it was last minute. I watched. Had to watch it this morning. I'm oh yeah, so happy I, I did. watched it last night. I watched it last night with Mary Elizabeth. Oh, you did. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, fun. of course. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. Oh, I wish she could have been here. That would have been uh, nice to have her here. I invited her, but you know she, she couldn't make she it. She didn't want to adjust her schedule around it. So the podcast waits for no one. Okay? Yeah, that's right. This the is the podcast a... waits for nobody. Although it did wait a major. couple of weeks for us to get through our shit, didn't it? <laughs> well, wait for us. It's got to wait for us. We're the ones. We're the conductors. We're, yeah, con- yeah. we're the conductors of that movie. It's a lot train. of scheduling just to get the three of us here. So it sure is. It worth sure it. is. Yeah. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Um, I, I I'm with you, man. I, I was uh, uh, ton of fun. giggling my balls off watching this. Ton of fun. A lot of a lot of things we establish here, like Frank and Artemis's relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Right. This is the first time we established that. Now, am I mistaken in thinking that Danny's only in like I can only think of him being in two scenes in this movie. I mean, in this episode, the uh, the 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 back off the second scene back from commercial, uh, back from the opening titles when we're in the back office, and then the scene in Dee's party. apartment. Is he in anything else? That might be right. That might be yeah. right. And yet, he's yeah, so, amazing. so incredible. Impactful Even just the way he, scenes. in that first office scene, the way he hangs up the phone as we're walking in, it is the sense of like, I have a secret, but also like kind of proud and kind of prideful, almost like wanting us to ask him about it. Like so many different things happening Who's there. Who's the that, director on this one? I, I missed that. Savage. 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 It's a yeah. great structural episode. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the it's got a good structure really to it. Good. Yeah. Yeah. The it's, ending is very satisfying, but I guess we'll start at the beginning. It's okay. like two, yeah. almost two A stories, right? Yes. Like the, both stories have equal importance and they're mm-hmm. both super interesting. Mm-hmm. And, they weave together nicely. Yeah, and they weave together nicely. Oh, sorry, I also got to do a shout out for my 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 close, close, close friend, Nick Wexler, mm-hmm. who plays Brad Fisher. Um, a guy who is almost exclusively known for working in dramas. Uh, mostly on television, mm-hmm. does almost nothing but dramas, and yet is one of the funniest people I've ever met in my entire life, and is dying to do more comedy, and is is super super funny. D. Reynolds. Yeah. Brad Fisher from <gasps> high school. Brad Fisher. <laughs> no way! Yeah. You look amazing. Yeah. Your acne cleared up really well. I kind of grew into myself. Yes, <laughs> you did. Yes, you did. Why did I ever break up with you? you it was because of the acne. Was it because of the yeah, acne? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when it got real bad, you dumped me and you said it was because I was going to grow up to look like Edward James Olmos. Uh, I don't really remember saying exactly that. It's but... it's fine. We were kids. We were kids. We were kids. Yeah. Anyway. Love Nick Wexler. Yeah, um, and he's, fantastic. Uh, uh, but, Nassim Pedrad is in the opening. Yeah, it starts with Nassim Pedrad, pre-SNL, yeah. right? This I believe it was just was, pre-SNL. Yeah, just before she got the show. Yeah, yeah. And you, every once in a while, will have, uh, in fact, the entire guest cast in this episode is fantastic. And a lot of them are supporting uh-huh. characters that have come back, but everybody it, it kills. And every once in a while, and, and including, what's her name, Joy? Osmansky? Yes, Joy. Joy, oh, I who I go on the date with. Yes. Good memory. She was fantastic. I feel like the three of us, our dynamic in this episode is so fun. It, it feels yeah. to me like, almost like when we started the show. Firing on all cylinders with that, with the three-man relationship in this one, yeah. Yeah, and our motivation and drive is so simple, mm-hmm. you know? So it's really just a, a very sort of just honest exchange of ideas that well, and there's clash two, with each other. Two, two things that happen in this episode early that we we've we have addressed that we did this early and then stopped doing it. Um, both one, one of which is we explain why we're about to do something, mm-hmm. like very clearly why we're going to help. Why do we have to help Charlie? Well, because he's we're afraid he's going to go postal if we don't. Right, mm-hmm. as opposed to just helping Charlie. Which adds, although it, I would argue in this particular case, it. it it does add sort of stakes to it. Whereas, which is hopefully why we left it in, not just because we felt well, like we I needed Well, I think this to. needs more justification than some of our crazy stuff because the characters are so self-centered. Mm-hmm. 
we needed to justify why you why? guys were going to do a nice thing, yeah. you know, that you had a self-centered yes. motivation to do it Yes, for it to not just And in fact, we feel, called yes. D out for that very thing. She says- That's really funny because I was I watched her first line where she's like, guys, we got to think about Charlie. And I was like, oh, wow. We, the, we were kind of writing like season one D there. And then we- pull the rug out from under him like oh yeah good 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 yeah Yeah, because she's worried that he's gonna she's gonna have to do the charlie work yeah she's gonna have to do the the charlie work right and oh right right the casual the casual uh casualness 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 that you guys are um (laughs) talking about my character committing suicide being like well he's definitely gonna commit suicide when he does when he does when he commits it's gonna be a problem for all of us (laughs) yes it is yeah by the way guys I forgot to introduce the episode the, that we're talking about today, but we can cut this in earlier or not. Uh, phones off. <laughs> She's falling apart without Meg. Okay, this. Uh, so this is a little segment we like to call "That Is What Happened." Season five, <laughs> episode five. Uh, the waitress is getting married. Aired on October fifteenth, two thousand nine. It was written by Charlie Day and Glenn Howerton two of my favorite people, and directed <laughs> by Fred Salvage. Uh-huh. Special guest stars Nick Wexler as Brad, Joy Osmansky. <gasps> wow. As Jackie. I did. Oh, wow, I like wow that's weird. Was that weird? For a day. Oh, weird. that's so weird. Maybe that you, recall is incredible. Hmm. Nassim Pedrad as Lucy, who works in the wedding dress store. Again, shout out to Nassim, but also shout out to her sister, Nina yes. Pedrad, mm-hmm. who was a writer on uh, New Girl for a very long time and has become one of our writers and has directed, uh, and an directed a couple, an episode this season. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, love, love, love them both. Summary, D tries to stop the waitress from marrying their mutual ex-boyfriend. Mac and Dennis help Charlie start, an, uh, start online dating and Frank and Artemis explore their newfound food fetish. <laughs> Boy, what a wonderful <laughs> show this is, guys. Let's pop this off. Let's get it started. What do you guys want to talk about with regards to this? episode we'll cut that in earlier and then it'll all flow i think we leave it right where it is oh um, um, yeah you're probably uh, right. your hair's looking good today yeah i noticed <laughs> it was like a little like did you get, a, did you get perm? Some, does no. it look perm? <laughs> you know what's it funny it looks, it looks too it. it's got a frizz I you, put it. A, you put some sort of activator in it and yeah. it no i used a different up. i used a different shampoo it's this stuff called oh what's it called it's just like, for men no, 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 no. <laughs> well, that would be the color, wouldn't it? That would be the color. Um, no, it's this stuff that's, um, what's it called? New, oh, f- shit. But it's that- Jizz. <laughs> jizz, that's what it was. I washed my hair in jizz. Um, yeah, no, it it's looks this, sticky. Yeah. It's this stuff, it doesn't foam up, and it's it's like, I don't know, it, it, it was given to me by- uh and shoulders. On our show, okay. like a long time ago, and I'd never tried it. I tried it for the first time. And I tell you something, I woke up this morning and and my hair was a little bit, had a little bit more curl to it. Yeah, there's a curl. There's, there's, a, there's a little bit of a curl to it. Only on the top. But I, what's that? <laughs> only on the top? Only on the top. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's a, you don't have a, enough a, on the sides to kind of, curl. Some kind of thickening Maybe. serum as well. It looks great. No, no, no. Well, I have been, I do use one of those Capillas caps as we've, yes. as we've uh, established. Well, we haven't established on the podcast, one of those red light therapy things, right? Just to yeah. keep the hair. Laser hat. That, that's called, we call it a laser hat. That's not what it is, but it's fun to call it that. That's what my wife calls it. <laughs> Laser hat. Okay. This is a show yeah. for the common working man. Sure. Yeah. About, so people but that relate. has nothing to do with this. All, you know, that has stars nothing. are just like you. <laughs> stars, they're just like us. They use laser hats. They're using their laser hats. <laughs> <There> you- <laughs> I'm bragging about doing my laundry and hey, feeding is, my dogs. This is available. <laughs> to, yeah. The laser hat's available to the general public. It's just, it is a little cost prohibitive. It yeah, can be sure, quite sure, expensive. Sure, but yeah. listen, if you want a full head of hair and you want your you know, your friends and your coworkers to yeah. compliment you on your beautiful curly mm-hmm. hair the next morning. You got to go get yourself lasered. <laughs> a laser hat. You don't want the cheap lasers. Um, now, the episode. <laughs> the episode. Do you want, you want me to ask you guys some sure. questions? Yeah, what do you got? Okay, because oh, yeah, we got some, I got some questions here. Do you want to talk? That I was thinking, thinking, what I mean, I, I asked, as, as I was walking in, I, I asked uh, Mara and Chloe if they could possibly figure out a way to transcribe one of the scenes from the episode, then maybe we could act it out because it could be fun. Do we have that? No, I don't know if we have that. Yeah. We Mara, do. You, you want to step on camera here for Fly a second? Fly it on in. Fly it on in. So we're going to do one of those um, 
things where we recreate the scene. Yeah. By the way, I love, I have to compliment uh, Nick Wexler on his delivery. Like, you know, uh, Caitlin goes, or D goes, uh, why did we bring, and he comes in right at the end. It was because of the acne. Was it because of the acne? I love that exchange. That exchange, yeah. the timing of that is just I like super, Mary Elizabeth super in that scene where they come over for the date night or the, the party and <laughs> Caitlin is just like saying all these horrible things. She's like, wow, you're making all that up, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, Having uh, sex for, I love the, Caitlin's The sex. scene where she stops the car, apparently she's just driving your car, which is a funny thing that we're mm. like, I guess she took Dennis's car. Oh, and right. And she stops it in the that. middle of the road to get That's out. That's a thing to- that people do in Philly. Because the, the streets are so narrow. Oh, it's hilarious. That people will just stop. And then get out and go do whatever they have to do in it's the a house. Good bit. And there's, nothing, there's nowhere to park. No oh to my park. god, I had a guy yesterday. So Marilyn and I are driving at, down Los Villas Boulevard. A guy does that. Uh, he gets out of his car. I don't know for what reason, and he's looking at his side door. Well, the car behind thinks, "Fuck this guy! I'm going to try to swerve around." But when the car pulls to the left to swerve around the guy, another truck is coming. In, in that left lane Oof, uh, and hits the brakes as hard as it can and stops just before hitting the car trying to get around. If it had hit the car, it would have pushed the car forward, smashing the guy who got out to look at his fucking car. Mm. So that guy almost almost died. Just like he escaped narrowly escaped a crushing. He narrowly escaped a crushing. There's it would have no turned way into a little liver, get, liver puddle. He would have been liver right puddle in the middle of the liver. There would have been his liver would have been Puddle. instantly puddled yeah and uh, that would have been it they'd have to scouse him right off the street so guess what if you know what i mean a pool of scouse uh, they'd have to scouse they'd get the scouser out to if scrape you're in the off. middle of traffic uh don't get out of your car you no. know uh, just go ahead and pull over and look at whatever you got to look at don't just stop your car in the middle of a, a, a road that where people are going you gotta, you gotta and if if a guy's done that in front of you, take a second before you try to swerve around him. You mm. know what I mean? Just look. Is life there... advice. That's what we're life doing here advice. on the Always yeah. Sunny podcast. Story would have been better if the guy did get crushed and killed, but not better for wow. him, but more interesting for the fans. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, here and here come the papers. <laughs> <laughs> here comes by everybody. She looks great. Hey, here the jacket. Hey, hey, and here did you put the leather Amsterdam. jacket on just for that entrance? She's sobering up it's from nice her Amsterdam <laughs> trip. Oh, she's she still high She's coming down high as a kite. Are you high, And Mom? here come the Are drugs. you still high? She's, yeah. Nice. Just a little bit, nice. she said. Nice. She's still a little bit in the system. Slurring right. on that Sarah catching reply. a little bit of that contact high as well. She's. This is the dating profile scene. A simple scene. Kay. You guys are just coming over yeah. uh, to put me on a dating website, and I am a strange man, and it doesn't <laughs> go well. Yep. All right. Um, okay, so, Charlie. Uh, yeah. We're going to get you back on the dating scene, bro. What do you think about that? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually why we're here. We want to we want to put your profile on match.com. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. I got to stop down for a second here. This was a match.com thing. Yeah. It, we did have a little plug, yeah. like a little Early. Now, was that yeah. because was that because of the concept of the episode and somebody came to us and said, "Hey, let's do some product integration here?" I think it was like that. Yeah, we had the episode idea and they were like, "Hey, this is great. We could also could you plug match.com?" We're like, "Absolutely. Sure, we'll make money for you and not for us." Or it was none of that, and we didn't get paid at all. And we we just, didn't get paid. Well, no, we didn't. We never get paid. Well, we for never those get things. paid, but we didn't. We got not sued. It was like, yeah, you can go ahead and say match.com. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it was like one of those. We got not sued. Okay, not sorry. Sued. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no. That's actually why we're here. We want to put your profile mm-hmm. okay. on match.com. Uh, okay. Well, I don't see why. I mean, I got the waitress, so. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, sure. But yeah. You know. Uh, yeah. Totally. But you know, we yeah. we thought. Um, you know. You know. We think that you could meet somebody new. Yeah. Someone you like even uh, more than the waitress. Yeah. Uh, I don't really see how that's possible, but um, all right. Tell you what, uh, you know what? Let me pop a quick H on this box. Uh, that way, we all know it's full of hornets and stuff, so it'll have an H on it. Okay. Well, yeah. No, do what yeah. you got to do, and okay. then we'll uh, we'll get started. Yeah. All yeah. right. Good to go. Okay. okay. These things sting like a bitch, so you want to have an H on there. <laughs> yeah, you sure Otherwise do. Yeah, they gotta, are hornets. So you're gonna get that's stung. Why. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Watch out well, for that box with B on it. What is that? Those, Those are just bees. bees yeah. Yeah. Right. I should have put that together. Okay. All right. Well, listen. Uh, let's get yeah. to it. All right. First thing we got to do, we got to we, we we need to take your picture for the profile. Uh, so uh, yeah. So uh, do you have the makeup? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. let's cover this up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Come on. No makeup, guys. Well, no, well you know. no, those hornet stings are pretty. They're pretty bad, buddy. So I think yeah, we gotta have but to. I am, I am. 
Mm. Right, but let's do who you are minus the hornet stuff. Yeah, mm. like let, let's pretend like you're not who you are and mm. just try to attract a woman. Yeah. Right. Ooh. I th- oh, okay, I tell you what. Should I get? I'll get like a checkered hat and a pipe, and like that would work. What? Why? Why? Why would you want a, a checkered hat? Wait, I don't pipe? understand. What is that for? Why? The Sherlock Holmes look. You know how he always he has like a checkered hat. He has like a little. Yeah. No. I, okay. Pipe. Not a cob pipe. Not a cheap pipe. Like a nice pipe. A nice one. Yeah, well, why would you want to look like Sherlock Holmes? Like, what, what is that? To attract intelligent women. Okay, know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a photo yeah. right now without the makeup. Yeah. We'll see if he... Snag okay. that photo. We'll see if he, right, we'll see if he likes that. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. yes. Was that yeah. sexy? Um, Was that sexy? Oh, you know what? You know, um, we'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll Photoshop it. <laughs> Yeah, you I'm know what? We'll, photogenic. Yeah, we'll do, we'll deal with that later. Yeah, um, was that a good yeah one? we'll fix him post. We'll oh yeah. Post. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna. Felt, we'll it just felt like a good one. I felt sexy. I, I can like see. Was... I can see where this is headed. So yeah. let's just let's not do that right you now. Want me to take another one? No, no. no. I don't no, think so. No. You got a good one? No. 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 I, I, right. Well, we got one. We got one. Let's start then. Okay. We'll 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 find another picture. Yeah, And then that'll be fine. Let's talk about let's talk about your likes and dislikes. What's your what's your favorite food, for instance? What would that for sure? Definitely milk steak. <laughs> hmm? huh? What? Huh? Milk, uh, milk steak. You know, I'm not putting milk steak. Just, just what, what even is that? Yeah, put, just, put, just put, put steak. Just put regular steak. Uh, yeah, well, I don't, she, don't know don't what a put milk steak. Regular steak. You put milk steak. Otherwise, she's not going to know what it is. No, no, she won't know what it is. Nobody knows what that is. <laughs> uh, okay, it's milk okay. steak. No, 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 no. Perfectly clear. I don't know how. No, yeah. it sounds it's, clear, but nobody knows what it is because it's not a thing. Okay, don't, all right. Don't, yeah, don't. All right. Them. Let's. What's What's your favorite hobby? Uh magnets. Okay. Uh, what like like making magnets, collecting magnets, yeah, I don't just, know, just magnets, you know, like regular magnet stuff. No, I know what a magnet is. I'm just saying, what do you, you know do how with they them? Stick or like sometimes they push each other away from each other. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put snowboarding. We'll yeah. we'll put. Uh, let's put snowboarding. I don't Sounds really snowboard, but okay. <sighs> how do you magnet? I you st- you stick them or you push them apart from one another. And that's your hobby. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen him. I've never seen him. Okay, all right. I don't even eat a magnet. Yeah, I, I don't do. You know, I don't like try to show off and do it all the time in front of you guys. Show off. Okay, right. listen. Let's move past that. Um, uh, why don't we? What, what are some of your likes? Oh, ghouls for bitch. sure. Okay, cool. What are you talking? What are you talking about, uh, you talking about now? Yeah, ghouls, I, like little, you know, little, little green ghouls, like you know, funny little. Like little little green ghouls, like, like in movies, like in cartoons. What about, about ghouls? little green ghouls? I know what you're talking. Don't <laughs> write ghouls. I'm not gonna write ghouls. I'm not writing it. I'm putting travel. Jesus uh, Christ! I don't travel. I don't like travel. Oh, uh, what like are your ghouls. dislikes? I want a girl who likes school. Uh, people's knees, dude. Come, you, come on, on, dude. You, you cover got, your knees up if you're gonna be walking around everywhere. You I don't want to see people's fun. knees. Just, what is it? Let's okay. Just make you know it what? All we're we're we'll, gonna we'll make, make the whole it, thing. We'll up. Let's just get out of here. Make it, we'll make it all up. No, we can't do this. Okay. All right, we're okay. not even gonna. Yeah. We're not even gonna use you for this. Yeah, we got the we got the picture. All we'll right, it. but you're not gonna get a cool chick if she, if you know you're not putting all my cool things down. And that's cover your knees up if you're cover your knees up. You're, you're walking, walking around, around the world. world. Shooting that scene was so fun because yeah. we didn't know how we were gonna say it. We don't know. Yeah. I can't remember if some of it was improv. I think it was pretty scripted. It was pretty. It was scripted, but it was loose, loose, loose. Yeah, yeah. And just, you know, getting to try to trip you guys up and then your reaction to it, you know, the, the that's what's so funny about it, just how you guys react to, to these absurd answers. Yeah, it, it's such a blast to uh, to shoot that scene. Um, the concept of uh, ghouls. Now, where that came from was when I was a kid, um, we had this book, uh, this Halloween book, and I, be- I think it was called It's Halloween, and it was a book of like little like Halloween poems and, and and all these like little Halloween stories. And I just remember this one story like really standing out to me where there was like a ghoul sitting on a tr- sitting on a tree outside of this kid's window, and the kid didn't know why the ghoul was there. And uh, and and just thinking that that was a funny. I don't know why, but I I don't know why, but I remember it striking me that that would be a funny thing for Char- Charlie to like. Mm. There's something funny about just like. It's not a. It's not a ghost. It's not a goblin. It's not a goblin. It's a ghoul. It's a ghoul. It, it has. There's a sense of mischief to it, <laughs> right? You know, yeah. like uh, yeah. What is the, what, what in your mind would be the difference between a goblin and a ghoul? A goblin just wants trouble. We're a ghoul. Okay, a goblin. 
a goblin wants trouble and a is, goblin's is, up to no good. Is gluttonous and there's nefarious and, and up to zero yeah. good. Uh-huh, a yeah. ghoul's also up to no good, but has a sense of humor about it. <laughs> yeah, he wants it to be. He wants it to be. It mostly needs to be fun for him. Yeah, but if it's fun so for you, he's that's gonna a like bonus. switch your socks around and you know, like, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, silly. Uh, put something for you to trip over and sure. Uh, yeah, he's silly. He's silly. He's, silly. he's got a silly and sense. And he might of bite you. <laughs> no, he is a cool. Yeah. He is a cool. Yeah, so he, I gotta like, be if you try to catch him, you squeeze him too tight, he's gonna bite your finger. <laughs> you know, but uh where are the goblins? Its sole purpose is to bite you. Yeah, yeah. a goblin you really can't trust, right? A goblin uh, a goblin's a, horrific th- th- thing. A yeah. goblin, you even spot the goblin doing his thing and you're you're in trouble right away. You're gonna have to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A goblin could kill you. A ghoulie could probably kick it across the room. <laughs> <laughs> right, you might yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You know what's funny? I feel like you're right. None <laughs> yeah. of this is, it makes, yeah. you know what I mean? No, the goblin's nothing. gonna reek. It's gonna stink up your apartment for days. The, the ghouls are relatively odorless. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> I hope that Charlie everybody likes who's watching and listening to this right now is doing what I'm doing, which is I'm picturing both of them in my head. Sure, I have a pretty absolutely. good idea. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. a pretty good idea of Let me tell, let me I, ask this. Is the goblin ghoul, bald? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the goblin's bald. It's bald and it's green. <laughs> it's green. It's, it's definitely bald green. And it's green. Yeah. And it's bony and it's it's gross. The ghoul is. I see the ghoul, the ghoul is green. Is, it, I see the ghoul is green. The ghoul's also the green, ghoul but much in, smaller. In my mind, has has a, is smaller, but has like kind of a a round body, but very skinny legs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but I might just but the be goblin's picturing, got big ears. Right? Yeah, yeah, the goblin's got ears, and, like, yeah. and yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, ghoul, yeah, and a scowl. Yeah, the ghoul is sure. almost like a gnome. <laughs> You know, but not quite like a gnome. Are you picturing a beard? No, no, no beard. So okay, it's, it, it doesn't have gnome. the beard and the hat. But yeah, but it's, oh, maybe he does have a hat. It's it might have a, a hat gnome-ish. of sorts, but it could be one of your socks that it's stolen and stuffed it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, guess what? This show was sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online therapy service that is designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. And we could all use that in this day and age. Mm-hmm. Something that's more suited to our schedules because everybody's busy. I am so busy right now. I can't even find time for myself. I feel like we keep getting busier and busier and busier. What does Glenn need for himself? What do you need? You need a vacation? You need a, just to go on a walk? What What are you seeking? I want it all. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Oh God, no, no! A vacation is work these days. I mean, so, so many, so many emails to send. Right, you're on vacation. You're like looking at your phone. You're like, eh, you can't, you're not gonna answer these emails. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're not you gonna know, do that. Vacations are basically like work retreats these days. Ugh. That seems like something you should bring up with a therapist. So then, does work actually feel more relaxing to you than a vacation? Well, like I said, I don't take vacations anymore because they are basically work. And in a way, neither does BetterHelp. That's part of how their vast network of licensed professionals works to fit into your schedule. So you can always get help when you need it and learn tools to find better balance in your life. Oh, man. You know why I know that I need better help in my life? Because right now, I just want to get back to my computer because I know there's emails just ding, 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 ding. Mm-hmm. Right? And I just, I, it's the stress of it. I need I need I need therapy. No, let's let's find more balance in our life, right? Why, why don't you use BetterHelp? Yeah, absolutely. So visit betterhelp.com slash sunny to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp H E L P dot com slash sunny. A lot of questions here. We don't have to get to them all. Mm-hmm. Uh, but D dumps Brad because of his acne. Now, mm-hmm. what was the worst reason you ever dumped someone or got dumped in high school? Worst reason? Yeah. Did you dump someone? Because of who I was. That's anyone. the worst reason, yeah. right? I was just holding like, on for dear life. Yeah. Or, yeah that's a, that that's what worst. sucks about getting dumped. Not because you like, oh, I, I said the dumb thing at the party and they dumped me. Like, she, no. liked you fundam- she disliked you fundamentally. Yeah. You get dumped because they, the person decides, yeah. You're not good enough for what I want. I that's can do the worst reason, right? I can do and better. That's, that's the, it's the, the only reason. I know. Yeah, you've been it's relegated. That's and why I'm, it I've stinks. been promoted. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's a wholesale rejection. Oof. It's not, well, if you were just a little bit, uh, it's something you could work on. No, no there's nothing, nothing you can, you can, you can do. I'm not attracted to you. That's why it hurts. Yeah. That's why it hurts. And that's why it hurts. Physically, mentally, spiritually. Yeah. I want you away Until from time me. passes and then you're like, I don't give a shit about you either. I just didn't wow. want you That's to- That's the revelation, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it happens later. It you happens later. You're like, where you're like, I just want to be wanted. I don't necessarily want the person that's dumping me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? It doesn't, doesn't need to be you, right? You get your sights set on something. 
Mm. And you forget the fact that uh, compatibility is important, right? Because when you're younger, you're just like, ooh, I like that. I want that, right? And then you don't realize that you don't, you don't, you, and then when that, that person's like, yeah, but I don't want that and I don't want you, mm. you go, how do I get you to like me and want <laughs> yeah. me? You know, it's just like, guys, that's just not how it works. You it's know, tough what I mean? time in life. Oof, uh, it's tough oh time boy. In life. Well, you've all been with your spouses for many years now, but did any of you have the chance to try online dating before you met them? No, no. This is what's so <sighs> we're so old. crazy. When we're we, so old. We didn't have any online dating. Well, on no, you, maybe I, you did a little bit. No, 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 no. I didn't. I well. There were Imagine, some MySpace encounters. I all I talk, I talk about with, with with younger people or even people our age who are newly single, uh, and they all bitch about oh it's uh, Tinder or um, is it what's what's the most popular one? T Raya, Tinder. They're they're uh, they're the worst. It's the worst. All you do is just meet people and have random and sex. Them. Yeah, you it's just horrible. Have, like, random sex with like uh, people you're attracted to. It's like it's it you're sucks. Like, eh, I don't want this. Oh my god, she's super hot. I get to fuck her. That's horrible. <laughs> I there's put there's it a that place bad. where people are looking for for other people. That for us was called the world, and you just yes. had, it was a toss up whether people were looking for. You could be like, "Hey, are you looking for a person?" They're like, "No, I'm not looking for a person at all." Versus the app, where no, you, you would enter. You a, know, you're looking for a. But you, you would enter a physical space, and you would yeah. swipe the person out of your way <laughs> to get to the person behind them. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was a swipe left, fucker. Yeah, I'm trying to get over swipe to this Swipe out of my way. I'm trying to get to the swipe person behind off, you. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe off, ghoul. Yeah, yeah. Well, sorry. What were well, you that, but, and that, but that could take hours, days, weeks, months, years. Whereas Corning. you can, you can just do it. It's a, I've, it's amazing. It's amazing. Now, does it lead to long term relationships? I, I don't know. I'm not. Of course, it sometimes it could. That. Of course, uh, it could. But uh, it. I, then you probably also get the real time rejection, which I don't know what that feels like. But if you're like constantly trying to meet people on those apps and they're all being like. Eh, Eh, no, that must stay. It doesn't feel as personal as when it happens, you know, when you're when you're in in the club in or the in club. or in the bar and it happens and they and they swipe you right in front of your fucking face. Ooh. I was usually pretty good with that. I just moved on. But yes, you were. And I I was mortified by rejection. You numbed yourself to it. Because yeah, it was so a numbers game. It was just a numbers game. It's a, a good strategy. So it's it a is. good strategy. It's a solid yeah, strategy. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And as the night got on, as the night got on and people's judgment, you know, got a little bit and they were like, well, you, maybe he is taller than I think. You'd wait it out. You'd wait, you just you'd wait, wait it out, out the handsome out. ones. Yeah. 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 All the handsome ones are gone. The tall, handsome ones are gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and the problem is like those clubs, <laughs> but wherever you would go, wherever people would go to meet you members and Mac of the opposite move in sex. after completion. Yeah. It was so loud. So I couldn't even do what I couldn't even like speak. It was all just based on the way people looked. Oh yeah. The, the club, that's why, that's why I didn't like the club. I wasn't much of a dancer. I didn't want to like no. dance at the oh, club. I didn't, stand a I didn't have the, the right club. clothes for the club. No. Most of the time I couldn't even get into the club. And even when I did, I didn't want to be there. That is yeah. the worst feeling in the world to yeah. stand outside of a club that you don't even want to be in and yeah. then get rejected uh, yeah, from that yeah, club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, I don't, you want to tell the bouncer, like, I never, I didn't want to come here. But that's My the beauty of the online dating. The only reason we were going there. The club's in meet. your pocket. Yeah, the club, the club is right here, bud. Oh, the next club is right here. Now, I do, I can understand that just like say, you know, human beings just adapt to what, whatever it is. So for us, it seems cool. And amazing that you have that level of accessibility, but my guess is you do it long enough, you get used to it, and then it, it doesn't. Fit, it like doesn't. Another. It doesn't. Uh, it's it's less satisfying, right? It's it's. I don't know. Sometimes I think it's better if you got to work for it a little bit, a yeah. little harder, right? It just starts to feel. I don't know, a little uh, even more superficial than what it was when we were yeah. when we were kids out there in the club, and uh, desperately trying to you know hit on just people meet, we just wanted meet. to make love to. Yeah, mm. you know, just meet people. Yeah, get out in the world and you know, but yeah, swipe and get swiped in person. <laughs> for God's sakes, right? That's the lesson here. So the next episode we'll be uh, talking about Charlie's uh, directorial debut, uh -huh. a movie written, directed by, and starring Mr. Charlie Day. Uh -huh. So exciting. One I, of I'm my so, favorite people. One of my favorite people. On one of my favorite guys, performers. One of my favorite writers. And I'm getting double teamed. It's pretty great. And yeah, yeah. possibly yeah. one of my favorite directors, although that remains to be spoken about. We have not spoken about your directorial skills well, yet. We so can get in. Talk about that. 
I'm very excited to talk to you about that movie. Uh, I have not seen the most recent version of it. I'm very excited to see it. I've only seen an older version of it. Uh, and also had, you know, had multiple conversations uh, about, uh, you know, how the ones, the, the scene that I'm going to be in is yeah. cut together. Anyway, um, several scenes uh and then uh we'll talk about uh blackberry mm. starring glenn howerton mm -hmm. uh a movie where uh you deliver a performance that is being talked about well uh, you know keep your expectations about. low just keep them low i'm sure it's great because mine were high and newsflash asshole <laughs> they were met. They yeah, were met. I, Mary Elizabeth saw it at South by Southwest and was talking about oh, how great right, you right. are. Everyone's talking about how great you are because you're great. And and these directors had the good sense to give you the opportunity to let you do what you do, which Hollywood should do more of. So I'm excited to get into that. And I'll, and a little jealous of two things. One, that that I'm not the person delivering this performance to the world. <laughs> of course, know? right. Um, and And... Two, that our movies are coming out on the same goddamn day. Unbelievable. But it, it doesn't matter. It's not about what happens in the box office or who goes sees what. It's, it's about the fact that we're making the art what if it that we want to make. About that? What if it becomes about that? How not for me, man. I'm not going to let uh, what happens outside of the movie dictate to me what the experience of the movie is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, it's like, you. look at Sonny. It's a perfect example, right? Like, uh, you know, uh, the... The doing the sunny is the sunny. The, going to those shows with thousands of people screaming, they're screaming about things we did 10 years ago. Yeah. Well, look, you know, everybody please just get, you know, get out there and, and, and watch both movies. They're both very, very different, different movies. And I uh, having seen them both, although not the newest version, are both, uh, I, I'm very proud of, of these films. So, you know. Save it. Save don't it. save it. We'll save it. Don't let, don't don't let the fact that both Charlie and I are in two different movies. Glenn's in both well, movies, in both, so yeah. it's a win-win for Glenn. It is kind of a win-win for me, although... Yeah. It's a win-win yeah. for me too, pal. The fact that the movie is out to the world and in the theater. Here we go. We're going to talk well, about that next week. I'm excited week. to talk about it, is, me too. is all. Me too. Me too. I'm excited me to too. talk about it. <laughs> <laughs>